it's been a really long time since I did a housewife confessional. Um, I think part of the reason is because um, I'm taking the train like three days a week into town. So that leaves sort of two other days that I actually drive around long enough to actually say anything. And I hate, I hate myself in sunglasses, so unless it gets really bad, I'm gonna leave this. And um, sort of whether I have time to actually say anything on those days or whether I'm feeling like it or whatever. But today I just come off the train from um, three hour homework session at the library two and a half um, and I have an errand to run sort of a few miles away so I thought it would be a good day to do this I actually have a list of all the stuff I want to talk about because I there's a lot to say <laughs> I don't know I don't know if there's a lot to say or not first of all um, no makeup in today's because uh, obviously I did it before I went to school today um, I, I keep meaning to do um, a favorites, like a, a beauty pride favorites um, video. It might just I might just give up on making it at the end of a month and just make it like a Oct August current favorites or something. Um, but it is on my list to do. Okay, um, so first of all, I want to say that I am really. I, <laughs> I'm really very happy at the moment. Really, really very content. I, um, I, it's hard for me to think of um, very many things that could possibly make me any happier. I don't actually think they would make me happier. I just think they would make me um, uh, be nice to have sort of things. So like more money, always nice to have. <laughs> uh, um, more chances to see friends always nice to have um, but but there's really not all that much that I would say is missing in my life I'm really very happy <laughs> I'm, I'm really content I'm really happy I have a lot of things I like and, and there's I don't have many complaints actually okay so I think Okay, obviously going back to school has been awesome for me. I'm, I'm only doing one class right now. The chemistry, the jazz thing didn't work out for me. Um, I'll, I'll go into that some other time. But um, So I'm, I'm only taking in the one chemistry class right now. It's so fun. I'm having such a good time. I'm doing really well in the class. Um, I wish it wasn't all afternoon, Friday afternoon, because by the time I come out of that four-hour class, I am like... A zombie I feel like I've just been like my brain's been through the ringer but um but I'm just loving it I'm, I love going in and doing my homework I'm loving learning it's um I have fun doing my chemistry homework I know that sounds like crazy <laughs> but, but um I am a little crazy so maybe that's not so surprising um so the other thing is that okay so I've changed sort of how I plan dinners so, this is a bit of a digression, but Michael Lewis, who wrote um, Moneyball, I believe, Moneyball, the book, um, he did an interview with um, President Obama for um, Vanity Fair magazine. And I keep meaning, I have the magazine on my iPad, and I keep meaning to actually read the article, but I listened but I haven't read the article, but I listened to the interview that he did with Terry Gross on um, Fresh Air on NPR. Actually, I don't listen to it on NPR. I listen to the podcast, but that's, you know, a different story. Um, and one of the things that sort of caught my attention was that he said that President Obama has read somewhere, and I forget the uh, exact reference or whatever, but um, that... One of the things that fatigues your brain is is making decisions, and this makes a hell of a lot of sense to me because, as the runner of the household, like everyone else in my household, has to make no decisions about the household. I make all the decisions. I make the grocery decisions. I make just about every appliance decision. Um, I don't make furniture decisions on my own, but I buy everybody's clothes. I um, 
I make uh, the decision what we're having for dinner. I decide, you know, who's on what chores. I decide, you know, who the dog walker is. I decide when and where we go on vacation. I run that by people, but it, basically it's me who who organizes everything. And and I felt tired all the time. So I decided, and one of the things that I really felt like exhausted me completely was deciding what to have for dinner every day. And I know a lot of people who are in charge of deciding what the family and the household has for dinner knows exactly what I mean. It's, it's not the cooking up the nice gourmet um, weekend meals or special occasion meals that exhausts you. It's the day-to-day deciding of what the hell is for dinner that's nutritious, that's not too expensive, all that stuff. So I decided what if I make a change in my life and, and plan dinners for at least two weeks ahead. And this was also supposed to help me to, you know, go grocery shopping because when I was deciding on a day-to-day or every other day basis what was for dinner, I found I had to go running to the store to pick up, you know, the missing cayenne pepper or, you know, the spinach leaves or whatever. So, so I changed that and I wrote down in my planner what we're going to have for dinner for the next two weeks. Now I'm actually up to every, like, I, I've actually have a dinner for every night in October, up through the 26th, I think, planned. I have it written out, penciled in. Doesn't mean it's set in stone. I pencil it in so I can make last minute adjustments. But oh my God, what a difference it's made. And you know what? My husband actually said he noticed we were eating more varied and more healthily. So um, that was sort of an unintended uh, benefit from the change because um, because you know because I was planning in advance I was try- I'm trying to check that we don't have oh we just had lasagna we don't have that you know like and 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 it actually has made me put trying new things like the day that I sit I sit down on a Saturday and I start you know with my little plan I have it week by week in my file facts and. And, and, and because I feel like maybe looking at new recipes then, I look on Food Gawker, which is like my favorite new site, foodgawker.com, gawking at food. <laughs> and, I, and I put new recipes in and those planned meals. And so we're trying new things and, and I'm not stressing every day because every day I get up and I know what we're having for dinner and I know. So this is probably something that housewives time immemorial have known before me was a really good idea but it's like I've just discovered it or rediscovered it I don't know if I used to do this (laughs) I don't know but it's really made a huge difference in um in in my life it's it's been it was a real stressful part of my day and now it's not um so that's kind of cool also the kids are still cooking one day a week um every other week each so one of the kids cooks every Thursday so um, that helps too but yeah and okay so um, I talked about chemistry I talked about that Um, I'm playing I am playing fantasy football (laughs) my god I'm actually at the top of my league even though I did lose last night by like the teeny tiniest minuscule little margin it was horrible I was winning up until like like the last five minutes I think of the fourth quarter anyway and that's kind of fun and that's with people that I met um over the internet through you know shared uh, interests in games and these are um, friends from the Soft podcast I think I mentioned that before I mentioned all the time on Twitter if you, if you don't know and and oh yeah I went to Las Vegas and met these people in person and ah it was such an amazing time really it was so wonderful and it made me think about all the friends I have so many places around the world and how sad it is to not live near them so many people I don't actually know anyone here that I love as much that's not quite true but yeah um, I just I seem to have friends all over and then I wonder is that the way I like it (laughs) like do I actually prefer um, not having 
friends close by because it would intrude on like my life and my schedule and my time in front of the computer. I don't know. Because that's another thing. World of Warcraft. Hello. Totally back in love with World of Warcraft. Totally back in love. Um, I can't wait to go to Pandaria this weekend. I am probably 10, 12 days after everyone else to head over there. I haven't set foot on the island yet. Um, I had some things I wanted to finish and I wanted to make sure I really had um, a weekend where I could devote some time for an extended period to it. So I'm really excited about going there this weekend. Um, um, yeah, just, just really back in love with World of Warcraft, um, and <laughs> I was a little nervous last week because I was spending a lot of time playing, actually, and I was, I thought, well, okay, you can't play during the week if it affects your quiz grade this week, but I still got all my homework done, and I got 100% on my quiz, so as long as that continues, I'm going to use the same rule for me as I use for my children, that as long as I have a good grade and it continues, then um, no restrictions will have to be applied. That's, that's it. As soon as that changes, though, that's different. <sighs> Thinking about head for about registration for next term, I want to do biology one or whatever it's called, and um, the second half of this chemistry course. And both of those have a lab, so I'm going to be looking at twice the amount of schoolwork as I have now. Hope that's okay. Um, oh. One little beauty thing, I'm giving up my acrylic uh, pink and white nails. I'm currently waiting for them to sort of grow off because they require two hours a week, uh, two hours every couple of weeks in a, in a chair, <laughs> sitting there doing nothing else. And I don't think I have the time or luxury to make that kind of a time commitment every couple of weeks to maintain them properly and um, it makes me kind of sad but um, there you go better not be a cold is that cold or is that allergies I didn't take any allergy medicine today it could be my allergies what else today's Tuesday 2nd of October tonight I'm trying southern style fried chicken recipe in Nigella Lawson's book. It's my first time trying it, so I'll do it completely her way this time. And we'll see um, see how that turns out. <sighs> um, kids are doing great. Youngest just had his 14th birthday. Um, Puppy's doing great. We're all just doing really great. Um, I'm just really happy. <laughs> It's like, not like, um, not like, ah, I'm so happy, but, um, just very content and very happy. There's not much I would change about my life right now. Really, it's, it's very good. Um, yeah. So, how are you? <laughs> I hope you're having a nice uh, October so far. I hope you're having a nice week so far. And um, I have arrived at my destination. My water just fell on the floor. Luckily I have a lid on. Okay, um, so I'm gonna park. And um, hopefully that was a bit of an update from me. Okay. Thanks for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. I promise there's a beauty video soon. Um, and um, there should be a World of Warcraft video soon-ish. Maybe. I'm not sure if I'm just doing audio or a video. Um, I haven't decided. I think I had decided I was just going to do audio. I can't decide. Okay. So, um, yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye.